Hi there, James here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Thanks for joining me today. So this is part eight, amazingly, of the Nimitz build, and it's getting to the scary stuff. So the exterior, the main ship is now complete. The hangar bay is all painted. The hangar deck is all weathered and ready to rock and roll. Then decided to drill a really big hole in it to attach the wires for the flight deck bottom or the roof of the hangar bay as you can see here using the LED strip. Hopefully by now you've had a chance to look at the how I light the hangar bay video. I'll post a little uh, link up in the card up in the top right corner now. Um, but yeah, it's basically sort of attached the LED strip, glue the piece of styrene I stuck together to make the hangar bay roof here, glue it all down and then we'll have some light. So it's quite scary stuff. But it's going to be a big improvement and when we have a little bit of a lighted hangar bay, which is really, really exciting. So let's get on with it. You can see here a close-up of the hangar bay ceiling. It's basically the LED strip with a few extra little bits of detail, which I then decided to paint up. Next we decide to where to put all the various aircraft and all of the support vehicles, the forklift trucks, some of the little uh, rigs and um, canisters some of the deck tractors and so on and so forth laid out throughout the hangar bay. Did have a bit of a wandering about this, I have to say, because I spent so long painting all these blimmin' little planes and uh, you're really not going to see as much detail as you would imagine once you had sealed everything up. But there you go, such is life and such is model making. So I decided on where everything was, moved everything around a little bit until I was completely happy and then got the white PVA glue out and individually on each single little bit of a landing strut or wheel or anywhere I could really attach a tiny little bit of glue with a cocktail stick and glued everything down left it to dry overnight before moving on to the really really scary stuff of sealing everything up. And just to recap I ended up having 19 completed aircraft including one hel lone helicopter you can see here. A lot of detail, a lot of hard work went into all of these so I'm really quite pleased. But then the procrastination started. So this is me testing, make sure that the lighting strip works, put a little hornet in here just to make sure how everything looks and all the detail you see through the four hangar bay doors. This is all you get to see of all the time and effort you spent. So it really does make a difference. If anything, paint the sides of planes better than you do paint the top. And then decided to have a bit of a play. So you can see different coloured lighting sections. This is, I think, cool white. Then we move on to a bit of a darker, funky red version. And then there's also quite a cool little blue one, which is quite cool, quite an ice blue. However, the wife and daughter decided that I think the best version we should go with is a party disco mode. So just kidding, you can end up using the remote control to change the colours as much as you want for the LEDs. So this is the final, make sure everything looks good, you need to adjust the planes a little bit to see some of the sides, some of the decals, the extra details, you can see everything's not quite glued down yet, some of the wheels are sticking up. But yeah, ready to rock and roll. And then fast forward a few days after drying time, everything is glued down, I did the very terrifying pick up the Nimitz and tip it a little bit, make sure nothing falls off test before deciding to firmly stick down the ceiling here with the PVA glue as well as a bit of super glue and a few bits of uh, plastic glue as well I think ultimately. With everything glued down and buttoned up it was time to move over to the flight deck starting with getting rid of those nasty seams from the three pieces. I then did some pre-shading with the white and the dark navy grey here you can see some of the smoking and then applied a IGN grey colour for the main flight deck weather you can see here being quite sporadic deliberately to try and get some of the pre-shading colour through. I used quite a thin mix of paint if interested, probably a little bit more than I would do normally but hopefully you can see it's all started to pull through. Once that was all dry I moved over to the steam catapults with a bit of detail painting and then applied two coats of gloss varnish. Following this, lots of lines of drying time and curing time afterwards, it's time to move over to the decals. Now these are a very old set, I think the original kit dates back to 2003, so some of these decals are a little bit fragile and there's a few breakages and spillages here and there, but ultimately it went quite well. I then used the gold medal models extra detail set that I had left over from my 
Enterprise build and painted some of the small, put some of the smaller details on before moving over to the even more scary part of applying some dark dirt wash by Fiori models. It is amazing how much a difference this really mucks everything up. So, leaving this to dry for about 50 minutes, the next bit will be to scrub it all off and see what we've got underneath. So thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.